In the name of God, the severe avenger. Hello friends. In this clip, you will get to know some of the tourist attractions of the beautiful country of Australia. The country of Australia consists of the continent of Australia, the island of Tasmania and smaller islands. This country, the largest island and the sixth largest country in the world, is located in the smallest continent of the world, Oceania. Canberra According to the agreement made in 1908, Canberra was chosen as the capital of this country between Melbourne and Sydney. Among the Australian cities, Canberra is the only city that has been designed and built with a city plan and map in advance. Among the famous attractions in this city are the National Library, National Gallery of Australia, K's Taken National Science and Technology Centre and Burley Griffin Lake. The presence of many green and natural areas in Canberra has made it to be named the Bush Capital. In addition to the natural and national attractions in the city, important festivals including the Floridad Flower Festival are held every year in Canberra National Park to display flowers, sculptures and other artistic features. Sydney. Sydney is one of the oldest, largest, and most beautiful cities in Australia, located on the coast of the Pacific Ocean. Sydney attractions include shopping malls, museums, historic buildings, beautiful ocean beaches, historical sites, and entertainment centres. With busy ports such as Darling Harbour and Sydney, Hyde Museum, and National Maritime Museum, Sydney Opera House, Sydney Wildlife Zoo and Sydney Aquarium, Sydney has become one of the most visited cities in the world, attracting millions of tourists every year. Attract there. Sydney beaches offer tourists the best recreational facilities and water sports, including diving, in the summer season. Gold Coast Gold Coast is a city located in the southeast of Queensland, which is one of the most famous beach cities in Australia for vacations. One of the famous areas of this coastal city is Traveler's Paradise Beach, where you can enjoy visiting modern skyscrapers, entertainment places, stylish boutiques, and beach shopping centers by passing along these beaches. Other attractions in this city include the 7D Cinema, Kolangata, Cavill Street, Dream World Park, 
Warner Brothers Movie Theater and Lemington National Park. In these areas, nature lovers can enjoy the Rhine forests, green valleys, and magnificent peaks there. Sydney Opera House one of the most beautiful and distinctive buildings of the 20th century in terms of architectural masterpiece is the Opera House in the city of Sydney, which is considered one of the most important tourist attractions in Australia. This beautiful building is not only a huge symbol for the tourist city of Sydney, but it has also become a symbol of Australia and the continent of Oceania. This hall, which is part of the UNESCO World Heritage, holds about 1,600 shows every year in the fields of ballet, opera, theatre, dance, music, and comedy performances for children. This beautiful building has large stores with 1,000 shops, five main theatres, five studios for rehearsals, one library, six bars, four restaurants, 60 changing rooms, one hall for artists to rest and other necessary facilities. Sydney Teronga Zoo One of the must-see attractions in Sydney is the Teronga Zoo, which is one of the most famous zoos in Australia with about 4,000 animals of 350 species. To reach the garden, you will experience a pleasant 12-minute boat ride using special boats there. Then he reached the green lands of the pier and the forests of Turkish Tiger. To relieve fatigue, be sure to visit various restaurants and cafes with delicious food and a beautiful view. This 28 hectare zoo opened in 1916, in addition to visiting all kinds of animals, you can enjoy the natural scenery, the Sydney Opera House and the natural view of Sydney Harbour. In the corner of Tangura, Interesting and spectacular shows are held for tourists by trained seals on the subject of the consequences of fishing and care of the oceans. Sea Life Sydney Aquarium One of the fascinating sights of Australia is a trip to the underground waters at the Sea Life Aquarium. This aquarium is located in Darling Harbour, which is a special attraction for foreign tourists. There is a wide variety of about 700 species of aquatic animals and more than 13,000 types of fish in these waters. Tourists enjoy watching the aquatic creatures and the quasi-ocean landscape by walking in a glass tunnel. Sea life includes 12 areas, which include Jurassic Seas, Shark Valley, Dugong Island, Discovery Pole Arc, Penguin, and Chimpanzee Habitat. Another spectacular part of this huge blue complex is the simulation of the Great Coral Wall, which attracts a lot of attention. Melbourne Parliament House one of the famous and spectacular historical monuments in Melbourne is the Victoria Parliament House, which was used for holding the Australian Parliament for a long time. This building is considered as one of the most beautiful examples of urban architecture during the British Empire period, which shows a beautiful view of the parts of the city for the observers present in the Parliament. In fact, the designer of this collection was inspired by the building of Leeds City Hall in England to build it. The main part of this collection includes a collection of rare books, a collection of heritage objects and an archive related to the history of the building and parliamentary activities. One of the unique features of this building was the electronic bells that were used to call members of the parliament. 
St. Patrick's Cathedral, Melbourne. St. Patrick's Church is one of the tallest and oldest churches in Melbourne, Australia. This church belongs to the group of Roman Catholic Christians, which was built in the 19th century for 70 years between the busy and noisy streets of Gisborne, Albert, and Lansdowne. This church is a symbol of Gothic-style architecture, which includes a collection of spectacular sculptures, paintings, traditional arts, local stones of the Queen's era, and colored glass that reflects the sunlight and gives a beautiful bright view inside the church. You can spend hours relaxing in the green and beautiful park next to the church. Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary Brisbane One of the natural attractions of Brisbane, the capital of Queensland, is the Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary, which is the first and largest Australian koala sanctuary. In addition to koalas, more than 100 species of native Australian animals such as ostriches, kangaroos, lorikeets, Australian martens, wombats, and pig ants are kept in this area. If you love animals, playing and feeding them, don't miss the experience of visiting this park. Wave Rock, Hyden, Western Australia Wave Rock is a beautiful and amazing rock in the form of roaring waves, which is located east of the city of Hayden in Australia. Due to the similarity of the appearance of these rocks to ocean waves, these rocks are called Wave Rock, which means Wave Rock. Wave Rock is 15 meters high and 110 meters long. The interesting thing is that the sea waves did not build these rocks, rather, the erosion and chemical changes of the lower and semi-surface layers of the earth have caused the wave rock to form. Devil's Marbles Conservation Reserve, Northern Territory Devil's Marbles Reserve is one of the most unique natural wonders in Australia. This place is culturally and spiritually important for the natives. The massive granite boulders here have been formed by natural forces over millions of years. Kiama, New South Wales Kiama is a coastal town south of Sydney, in New South Wales, Australia. Kiama Blowhole is one of the important sites and the reason for its fame. There are several surfing beaches, cafes, and restaurants in this town. The proximity of Cayman to the south of Sydney has made it an attractive destination for a large number of one-day and even multi-day trips. Homebush Bay, Sydney Homebush is a bay on the south bank of the Parramatta River in Sydney's inner west. This bay used to be a dumping ground for industrial waste and abandoned ships. There is an old, abandoned ship on the calm waters of Homebush Bay that has become a floating forest. The trees and bushes that have grown on the remains of this abandoned ship have created this beautiful forest. Twelve Apostles, Victoria The Twelve Apostles are a series of limestone cliffs in Campbell National Park in Victoria, Australia. Eight rocks remain in this area, which are among the most important sites in Australia. Kakadu National Park Kakadu National Park is one of the attractions registered in the UNESCO World Heritage List. This park is unique and diverse in terms of wildlife and nature. 
This park covers an area of 19,840 square kilometers and is the largest national park in Australia and the second largest national park in the world. Maria Island, Tasmania Maria Island in Tasmania, Australia is part of the Maria Island National Park which includes 115.5 square kilometers of island area and 18.78 square kilometers of surrounding marine areas. Abel Tasman is the Dutch explorer of this island. Hanging Rock, Victoria the Hanging Rock is an extraordinary structure with a height of 718 meters above sea level, which was formed due to volcanic activity and is 6.25 million years old. Go to this area for a great adventure day and reach the top with 40 minutes of climbing. There you can enjoy unique panoramic views. The Golden Cliff, Blue Mountains The Blue Mountains Golden Rock is a wonderful place to watch the sun rise from the top of the valley and change the color of the rocks to gold. Uluru, Northern Territory Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, is a sandstone rock. The area around this rock is full of springs, water caves and ancient paintings. This area is registered in the World Heritage List and is considered the most famous natural symbol of Australia. Changing the color of this rock at different hours of the day and at different times of the year is one of its prominent and famous features. Hamilton Island Yacht Charter This island is located 887 kilometers north of Brisbane and is one of the few islands in the Great Barrier Reef, the largest coral reef ecosystem in the world, that has an airport. This island is a popular destination for tourists all year round. August sees the annual festival of boats where around 250 boats from Australia and New Zealand gather for a week-long race around the Whitsunday Islands. Adelaide Adelaide is the capital of the state of South Australia and the fifth most populous city in the country. The city was founded in 1836 and Colonel William Light, one of its founding fathers, chose its center on the banks of the Thorns River. Colonel Light's design made the city form a network with wide boulevards and wide squares, which surrounds Adelaide's parks. Mitchell Waterfalls Mitchell is a waterfall with a height of 7.6 meters, which is located on the slopes of Mount Mitchell. The falls, the surrounding mountain, and their associated state park are named in honor of Alicia Mitchell, a professor who fell to his death from a cliff edge while verifying the mountain's height measurements. Brisbane Brisbane is the most populous city and the capital of the state of Queensland and the third most populous city in Australia. The centre of the city is located on the Brisbane River Peninsula and the rest of the city is also built along this river. Today, the city is famous for its Queensland architecture, on which most of the city's heritage is based. Jervis Bay, New South Wales Jervis is a bay and island that is famous for having the whitest sandy beach in the world. This bay, which was a river valley in the past, was formed about 15,000 years ago at the end of the Ice Age. The current shape of this bay was created 4,000 years ago, after the sea level rose by 120 meters. 
Lord Howe Island. Lord Howe is an irregular crescent-shaped island between Australia and New Zealand in the Tasman Sea. The island is a World Heritage Site for its stunning beauty, unique landforms, unique flora and fauna, and pristine ecosystem. Wilpena Pound, South Australia This natural phenomenon, which is located 429 kilometers north of Adelaide, actually covers a flat and very huge plate with an area of about 8,000 square kilometers, which is about 200 meters higher than the surrounding land and is surrounded by Congress-shaped hills. The view of this area from above is wonderful. Pernilulu National Park Pernilulu National Park which is located in the Kimberley region of Western Australia, has an area of about 240,000 hectares. Most of this area is covered by jagged sandstone rocks in the shape of a beehive, which rise up to 250 meters above its pastures. These rocks were created by erosion over 20 million years and are very interesting to geologists. Mackenzie Falls, Victoria Bashar Mackenzie is one of the largest Victoria Falls in the Grampians National Park in Australia. These waterfalls, which are current throughout the year, flow from large rocks and reach a deep pool at the end. The height of this waterfall is about 35 meters. Lake Mackenzie, Fraser Island Lake Mackenzie in Australia has amazing nature. The water of this lake is so pure that few species of living organisms are found in it and it is not suitable for aquatic life. This lake is one of the best places for tourists in Australia and its beach amenities make travelers spend their time here more calmly. Rotnest Island Rotnest Island is one of the Australian islands located in Western Australia. The island is now a popular tourist destination with its beaches, wildlife, and natural beauty. Nearly 500,000 people visit this island every year, most of them come by ship and the rest by plane. Rotnest has an airport. Darwin Darwin is a city in Australia that has been home to the Australian Aborigines for thousands of years. For the first time in the 17th century, Dutch sailors saw this city and named its parts. British sailors saw this area in 1893 and chose the name Darwin in honor of Charles Darwin, a famous scientist. The Great Barrier Reef, Queensland The Great Barrier Reef is a large collection of coral reefs in eastern Australia. This wall is considered the largest collection of coral reefs in the world and in 1997 it was included in the list of seven natural wonders of the world. Perth Perth is a city on the edge of the Indian Ocean, which today is an important place for beach recreation and various recreational activities, for this reason, it is considered a competitor to Sydney and Melbourne. Of course, Perth is considered the most remote big city in the world and traveling to it requires a lot of money. Lake Hillier, Middle Island Hillier is a unique lake in the Risher Archipelago in Western Australia. The pink and beautiful color of this island is the most attractive thing that attracts attention at first glance. This color is permanent, even when you pour some lake water into the glass, 
its color does not change. Whitehaven Beach, Whitsunday Island, Queensland Whitehaven Beach is located in the heart of Queensland's Great Barrier Reef and is considered one of the most pristine and clean white sand beaches. Access to this beach is only possible by helicopter and boat, and it is known above all for its white sand and crystal clear waters.